Hey there, this is Dana Vigdor, and I lead the customer engineering in EMEA at Salto. In this video, we're going to talk about how to deploy between NetSuite environments using Salto. Today, there are two ways in which we can deploy changes between NetSuite environment. Copy to account. The main challenge is you can only select one type of element. And bundles. When deploying through bundles, you don't get the functionality to select individual dependencies to carry over. Instead, you are forced to carry over all dependencies, which can cause undesired changes in the target environment. But what if you would like to customize your deployment and select specific elements? You would like to move from one environment to another. Salto gives you that option. Let's see it in action. The first step is to fetch your metadata by connecting to your NetSuite adapter. Once you have successfully fetched, we can start working on the deployment. A fetch is the most basic functionality in Salto, which is essentially getting your metadata and converting it into our NACL format. Let's get started. First, we're going to look at NetSuite. So let's say I'm a NetSuite administrator and I want to transfer a transaction form from my sandbox to production. This is the form I'm going to use. It's named Custom Service Invoice, and its ID is Custom Form My Change. Back to Salto. Firstly, click on Deploy. Then create a new deployment and choose the source and target. In our case, NetSuite Sandbox and Production. Give it a title and a description. Please note, if you're using a ticketing system, record the change in the deployment. Then click on Create Deployment. In this view, you are seeing the differences between the source and target environments. Essentially, Salto is performing a comparison of the environments while highlighting under the Related Elements tab any dependencies or connections between different elements. The next step is to select the relevant elements you would like to carry over. In our case, we're going to choose a transaction form, which we saw earlier. I'm going to click on the custom form, and Salto immediately identifies the related elements. From here, we need to explore those related elements to see if we would like to carry them over to our new environment. We're going to select all related elements to carry over. However, this is not mandatory. I'll quickly press refresh and see the additional sub-elements that will be carried over before actually deploying any changes. Note that when you get a message that says no elements found, you have successfully selected all the dependencies. Next step is clicking on Preview Plan, which locks the deployment from any further modifications from, et from other Salto users. Last step before deployment is to do a final review of the changes selected and ensure that we don't have any elements that are not validated by SDF. If this occurs, those changes would fall under the Skip tab, but as you can see here, we don't have any validation issues. Everything is under the Plant tab. One last thing. You can click Edit and update the file. If you ever see an imprecise value such as is inactive or any other value you want to add edit last minute, now we are ready to deploy our changes. Let's go!